am very excited. We have Renee Young with us. Hi. And uh, we've already started off by geeking out about Sub Pop because I'm wearing a Sub Pop hat. <laughs> yes. Are you a fan of uh, the, the, the sounds of Seattle? Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? That's like that's like kind of my jam. Really? Yeah, I love that stuff. Um, I feel like that was like... Between, I grew up a lot like listening to uh, to more of like Brit pop stuff. I was big into like Oasis and Radiohead. Remember Travis? Oh my god, yeah, like oh. like stuff like that. I was really into, and then uh, you know, obviously getting into Nirvana and mm-hmm. Pearl Jam, like getting into those sounds. Um, yeah, I've, I've always loved that kind of grungy kind of deal. So that that whole Seattle situation is definitely right up my alley. Well, then you got to hike uh, on over with uh, Daniel Bryan and uh, Bree at some point and yeah. check out some shows oh, while oh you're in God. Seattle, yeah. right? Oh, I love Seattle so much that uh, we have contemplated buying a cabin up there at some point. Uh, really? Like, I like love the Port it. Townsend type of thing well, or not, maybe a little less Not entirely sure. I haven't put that much thought into it yet, but every time we're in Seattle, I change my flight to stay longer. Nice. I want to kind of like hang out there as much as I possibly can. So yeah, it's, it's so great between like the awesome hiking and... Even this is really nerdy, but I guess it's important to me. But the airport there is awesome. It's gotten a lot better. It's it a used great to not airport. be as cool, but it's awesome. Not a sub pop store. I always I well, lose a lot of money there. That, I, that's yep. what I did. So I went in there. I bought like a necklace. I bought a Dina t shirt. I got a sticker that's on my laptop. So yeah, I, I bought a bunch of stuff at that sub pop store. And I got they have these little booklets. I bought one that was um, Neil Young Harvest Moon, where they like break down oh, all the lyrics and stuff. Okay. It was really really cool, and a lot of great seafood spots in there, which is right up my alley. I know I'm a sushi. Freak. Yeah, so it's the best. It, you just have endless supply <laughs> between crab and sushi. It's like, okay, yeah, it's, I'm in it's Nir- awesome. Not too bad pun, but I'm in Nirvana right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I show up early to the airport, and I'll be able to hang out and enjoy myself. I noticed, like, uh, we had opportunities in the past to talk with Bray Wyatt and his love for Rage Against the Machine. Uh, Baron Corbin's come on on a show before, and we've talked, we've geeked out about bands like Highly Suspect, and uh, and, and he said that like he loves hanging out with Corey Graves because they share similar yeah. tastes. Do you have like a music? Contra buddy or like or even like maybe like Dean is, is does he have similar taste as you or we don't we Re- don't have similar taste in music like really not not that we don't but we sometimes have to battle over who's playing the music because I he into? I have much better musical taste than he does <laughs> um and it's fine he's learning is he no, like a Taylor Swift guy or something oh no 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 <laughs> he if he talks about anything like new school country he hates it except he like he likes Chris Stapleton a lot yeah. uh, but he is really into like old school country like, like Willie Nelson and Hank. Like, he's really into that stuff where I'm more, um, I mean, I really like Neil Young. We can kind of join up on that one a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I got Renee Young from Neil Young. Um, oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I kind of bounce. Yeah, like I said, I'm, like, big into radio. I love, like, White Stripes. Mm-hmm. I really love Jenny Lewis. Um, yep. She's really great. But we pop out and go to some cool concerts. We've been lucky to see some cool bands. We got to see, um, I was going to say them, Crooked Vultures, but, no, it was... Um, uh, Queens of Stone Age. Queens of Stone Age. That was oh. one of the first concerts that we saw together, uh, and it was unreal. They Low by the Paralyzed is oh one of my, my all-time favorite records. It was records. unreal. I actually got to see them, Crooked Vultures, as well, but it was mm-hmm. in Toronto, and seeing just seeing them kind of do their thing was unreal. And I've never been able to see Dave Grohl with Foo Fighters, so to see him just there drumming, at least, was really awesome. Oh, yeah. Chance to see Dave back in his oh natural God. habitat. So I was supposed to see him before. Um, I went to go see Bob Dylan and Foo Fighters opening for Bob Dylan Acoustic. I missed it and I got stuck in traffic. Oh, I've never dagger. lived that down. Never lived it down. Uh, yeah, I bounce all over the map with music. I, I'm all over the place. I think I just kind of like good music. Whatever what was the, the last show good. that blew your mind that you were at? Um, I would say, uh, obviously, Prince um, and White Stripes. White Stripes will always be one of my favorite shows. And also, Green Day Live is unreal. So they're actually playing in Vegas next week. But we're going on a vacation. We never go on vacation. We're like getting out of town. Uh, so I was like, damn, he's never seen Green Day. And I really want him to see it because they just put on such... They put on a clinic, man. They're so good. I've seen them like 10 times and I'll never not go see them. No. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, like, oh, okay. And they do a lot of the same things they do every show, pulling kids up. But it's done so well, it doesn't it's matter. Great. You've seen it a million times. I think between seeing them and yeah, like when I saw White Stripes and was able to see... I've, I've seen White Stripes and I've seen the Rock Contours and I've seen Dead Weather. Yep. But to be able not to there. see White Stripes in their element just as Jack and Meg White, mm-hmm. it was, I felt like it was like me seeing Elvis. Like, I will never forget how captivating that. he was. Like, I do, you couldn't take your eyes off him. And he's he's just this, like, he's got, like, that aura. That they, people talk about that with Prince all the time. He's yep. got this star power aura thing about him. Um, but, yeah, the only, the only people that I've never been able to see that I've always wanted to see is Radiohead. Other than that, I've been really lucky, and I've been able to see all, of, like, my favorites. Radio, I saw Radiohead once. <laughs> I... Decided a bunch of us. We went and saw them at the Gorge. Which I don't. If you ever have a chance in the summer and you're in the Northwest, it's a little bit of a drive. It's okay. about five hours, but it's on par. I've never been to Red Rocks, but some 
view it oh, better. Oh, so like an outdoor amphitheater? Yes. Oh, And the backdrop cool. is just a beautiful mountain. You have the oh, Columbia man. River. It's like, you don't even need to like the band that's playing. Yeah. Like, so we went to so Radiohead. And it was, I was a little bit younger and a little bit dumber. And we were like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And so <laughs> someone made a bunch of pot cookies. Uh-oh. And I'm like, I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> and so you, I, I go on a huge guitar solo. You're like, what's happening? <laughs> so I <laughs> eat it, and I'm like, this is before nowadays everything. Like, you know how much tea sure. It. So at that time, I had no or so idea. So I've heard, right? Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I eat it. I'm watching the show, and of course they're mind blowing. And I'm like, and I remember I was with a, a girl at the time that I was like really interested in, and I was like, this is going to be an awesome night, her and I. And then I passed out. No, you did you miss it? What I remember, <laughs> I, I saw like three or four songs, and the next thing I remember is four dudes carrying me <sighs> to the first aid tent while she is crying because she thought I died. And I'm no. like, oh, well, this you is not going to go well. That. Then we go back to the campsite and there was a big windstorm and our tent flew away. So then we couldn't even stay in the same tent. We, oh. it, it was just like, it was never meant you to be. You guys were not meant no. to be. The universe is pulling you apart. But that was my Radiohead experience. Um, like, so, I got to see a couple songs. Yeah, because I've never seen them, but they're playing Coachella this year and I've never gone to Coachella. I actually, I don't really like festivals that much. That it's, one seems a little much. It's definitely a little much. And mm-hmm. I thought about going just to see Radiohead, but... I just don't know if I'd even like to see it in that environment. It might not be what I want to see, but... Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, sometimes it's worth it. I oh, mean, yeah, totally. Like, just be able to check it off your list of being able to see somebody. But, yeah, I've been to... My, well, my dad's a concert promoter, so I grew up very lucky that I've... Wow. I, like, grew up seeing concerts. So you probably don't know even how many concerts you've seen. Oh, I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. Couldn't even tell mm-hmm. you. No, I, like, my time spent with my dad was backstage at concerts. Uh, Doesn't it blow your mind when you meet someone and they're like, I've never been to a concert, and they're, like, in their 30s? How do you live? <laughs> right. I don't understand, and, like... I, you know, you can go. I've definitely had like mediocre experiences at concerts, but mm-hmm. if you're able to go somewhere and like see someone you really love, like I've been able to see Oasis, but it was just Noel Gallagher doing all acoustic B sides. Mm-hmm. Unreal. Like that stuff makes you like that. That's what fuels going to concerts is being able to have those moments. Where you're like, I had a moment with all these people in this one room, and like that's the cool part about it and now here we are wrestlemania is just a couple of, and that's like the ultimate rock show of yes. wrestling i mean just from the yeah. pyro and the loud music and all that it's the ultimate so it's funny like i just said my dad's a concert promoter but this is his first time coming down he's like i just want to see the production i want to get back there and i want to see mm-hmm. how you guys do everything because it is it's the biggest thing that you could really be a part of i mean between between us and i guess like the super bowl yeah it's like we put on such a giant show and there's so many different moving parts to it and when you see everybody behind the scenes that are able to put that stuff together it's like the most talented people it's got to be overwhelming at first like and and i love like i listen like you know i I know sam roberts and peter rosenberg and they've talked very fondly of you being a major part like you know because they've had a great opportunity to be a part of the wwe and the pre-shows and and they all just glowingly talk about how you made them feel more comfortable. Oh, I love that. Is that something that because when you first started that like it was just so overwhelming that you know what's going on in their heads? Um well, I think you know they know what they're doing is a thing. It's mm-hmm. like they don't they didn't need me to hold their hand or need anything like that, but I know I just know what it's like when you're coming into a new place and you're feeling this pressure and I don't like being put under pressure when I'm performing mm-hmm. and I want someone to just feel like we're all just hanging out, it's going to be fine. Yeah. Uh, so if there's any way that I can kind of create that energy for everybody i just think it's better for everyone all around to just feel natural and and good in their spot because that's when you can kind of shine the most and everything you're doing is just as a wrestling fan i love talking smack and the pre-shows and and, and just thanks for bringing such an awesome vibe to everything that the wwe puts out and uh, i appreciate it and i uh, what match are you most excited to see before i let you go intercontinental title Uh oh dean ambrose baron corbin i wonder why oh my i know right a little vested (laughs) interest gonna win (laughs) ambrose ambrose (laughs) renee young thank you so much for hanging out with us thanks that was fun to talk about music i know